Okay, thank you. We'll get started first with the University of Memphis head coach Melissa McFerrin and student athletes Madison Griggs and Dulce Fancom Menjadu. Coach, if you want to start out with an opening statement and then we'll open it up for questions. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is I'm just really proud of our team. Um, we've uh, been through some bumps and bruises this year and obviously you guys can probably see we've got two players sitting on the bench, but they're fighting their hearts out. And I thought uh, Maddie Griggs tonight, every time that the other team threw a press on us, SMU threw a press on us, she just bailed us out uh, with a dagger three. And I thought in the second half, I thought Dulce really came alive and, and owned the paint and scored on the block, rebounds. And uh, she even dove for one loose ball there in the lane. So we're really going to give credit for a 6'4 kid for doing that. Questions? We have microphones. Okay, Coach, I'll, I'll take the first question. Um, <clears throat> you just played SM, you split with them during the regular season, you winning at home, then losing on the road, played them four days ago. What was the difference in tonight's game? Uh, first of all, one more player. <laughs> we had six when we were at their place. We got down early at SMU, and I thought they had a really good um, offensive game plan against our zone. And uh, we made some adjustments today, went back to more man-to-man, -man, also had made an adjustment to our zone. And I think that was uh, probably the differences in the game. For the student athletes, you can talk about a little bit about um, you getting started in the game and kind of opening up a big lead. Well, I thought early in the game, I thought um, on play calls, I thought the players did an outstanding job of what we call first-time execution. We got a lot of really good shots and put the ball in the places that we wanted to put it and shot a high percentage um, early in the game. And, you know, then we played from the lead, which, which is really nice. I thought our players did a really nice job in the second half of getting deeper into our sets, using some clock allowing us to play at a little bit of a slower tempo um, to, to keep ourselves fresh. And, uh, yeah, we played from ahead pretty well. Dulce Madison, can you talk about a little bit what the difference in the game tonight was than it was, you know, four nights ago? Um, the game tonight, we came more prepared. Uh, our practice plan was uh, more prepared. We, we shoot around was uh, very energetic and um, – we just came out knowing we was going to win and be here tomorrow. So we just wanted to play as hard as we can and leave it out all on the floor so we can get the dub and come back tomorrow and play. Don't see. Um, as the coach said, um, we came tonight to play like we were willing to play tomorrow. Like We really wanted to play tomorrow. That was our biggest motivation. Uh, motivation. At the at the um, all week and before the game tonight, we talked about having to be desperate to be here tomorrow. And I thought the players did a great job of playing with a great sense of urgency, and they do want to play tomorrow. How did it feel tonight to maybe you know end that losing streak for you? A good way to do it. You know what? That's behind us. It's tournament time. So yeah. all I know is we got to win tonight, and we're playing tomorrow. What do you look forward to in tomorrow's matchup with uh, Cincinnati? I believe you faced them on January 8th. It was a um, seven-point loss for you in Memphis. You know, what do you got to do tomorrow? I mean, to, to, you know, you faced them early on in the season. We did, and, and quite honestly, we're all going to have to have a refresher on Cincinnati. It's been two months since we've played them. Obviously, we know their personnel really well. We know their system well. Um, so we're going to get the kids in an ice bath tonight, let them get a good night's sleep. We'll get the game plan together, and the players will wake up in the morning. We'll watch video, and we'll get refreshed on everything. The thing I feel really good about our team right now is that um, early in the year we had seven new players. Now we have seven players, but now the, the new players that we have are now very – our system is ingrained. What we do is ingrained in them. I think we're much more efficient on the defensive end of the floor in terms of making adjustments. We will know how we're going to guard screens because we're simply two months older than we were um, two months ago, January 8th. So looking forward to a great contest. Cincinnati is a great team. They've got great depth. I think that the thing that we have to be most concerned about is their transition. 
because they uh, do a great job of getting the ball up the floor. Antoinette Miller, um, Riser, and Thomas run the floor incredibly well. That's going to be a challenge for our post players. So it's going to be important that we get the game slowed down on the defensive end, our defensive end. Any questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate. See you tomorrow night. Very tired. Good. Yeah. You kept the originals, right? You kept the originals. Okay. This is just, I'm going to straighten up back there when I'm done here. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind just making sure. Because what I want, somebody asked tomorrow, you know what I mean? I'm going to. Yeah, I think we have all four games. Thanks, Em.
Oh, you can come up here, hon. Thank you. And that's what you just put right there. Hi, I'm Coach. How are you? I'm all right. Yep. How are you? Good. Good. How's everybody? Okay, we're joined on the dais right now by um, SMU head coach Travis Mays and student athlete Amber Bacon. Coach, if you could make an opening statement and then we'll ask some questions. Thanks. Well, first thing I'll say, I, I'm really proud of the way that the Mustangs finished their year. Uh, I share with them in the locker room, there's usually one coach at the end of the year is the only one that doesn't make the, the statement. Unfortunately, they lost the last game of the season. Uh, I think we ran into a, a really prepared Memphis team tonight. Even though we played them one week ago, they played extremely hard. They played together. They executed. We played hard, but we wasn't as as connected as they were. And unfortunately for us, uh, we're talking about a loss. Coach, what was the difference? You know, you just you split during the you know you split during the regular season. What was the difference in the game tonight? Well, if I look at at the stat sheet, it, it, it's it's amazing. Uh, it looked like the difference was the three point line. We gave them thirty points from the three point line. They were ten for eighteen. Uh, we had more attempts, so we were playing aggressive. They had twenty four field goals. We had twenty four field goals. We dominated the offense. We had twenty four offensive rebounds. I think the thing that hurt us the most. Uh, well, we left 10 free throws out there. We were 10 for 20, and unfortunately, that, that would have been the thing that kept the score a lot closer. Amber, if you could talk a little bit about um, you finished the season, the regular season, winning four out of your last six. You know, talk a little bit about the momentum you had coming into the tournament. Okay. Um, I think we, um, we, we were playing hard, uh, executing. You know, we, um, coach was emphasizing a lot about defense and um, – do, uh, not fouling. Um, also, how effort is not enough, so just executing. And so that's what we were doing was executing. And so we were trying to have that same mindset coming into this game. And um, I got to say, Memphis, they just, you know, they executed every possession and ended up with the win. So, Coach, in the game, you did force um, 20 turnovers for Memphis. Talk a little bit about your defensive effort. Well, I think our defense is something we've always been able to fall back on because we're usually pretty solid. Uh, but we let their most confident, uh, biggest threat on the offensive end from the three-point line uh, score seven threes. That's 21 points right there. And, and you let a young lady uh, get away from you and knock those, that, that just builds so much momentum and it almost takes the win out of the sale of your team. And, um, and that's what, every time she made one, it was deflating. Even though we tried to press a couple of times, they got, they broke the press and kicked it up, and she was able to knock down a three. It, it deflated our, our momentum, and it just gave them so much more momentum. You know, just one final question. Just talk a little bit about the stride your team's made, the stride your team made, especially down the stretch. I would say, I mean, you talk about four of the last six games, we were able to come away with the win. We was getting momentum at the right time, and, and every coach wants to peak uh, going into tournament season. And uh, the unfortunate thing was, I think if we'd have played any team other than this Memphis team, which we just saw last week, we may have been a little bit overconfident. I tried not to 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 let our bunch get overconfident. But when you beat a team, you almost think you're going to see that exact same team. But they made the proper adjustments. And, and unfortunately for us, we weren't able to make those adjustments. Thank you. Thank you're you. welcome. Coach and Amber. <clears throat>